Good evening, uh, kids. In this endgame uh, that happened between uh, Eric Eliscasis and Solomon Flor, we'll study uh, the knight against the bishop. So this is a kind of position where the knights uh, are uh, stronger than a bishop's. See, this knight on d6 is blocking the pass pawn. The knights are excellent blockading pieces, right? And um, uh, also the knight from d6 is attacking the pawn on e4 and supporting the action on the queen side. At the same time, you can see the bishop uh, is blocked by his own pawns, right? So the position is better for black. But now let's see how did black put play this in and how did he win first move f5 very nice one right f3 pawn takes pawn takes right so now it's clear that pawn on e4 is really weak b5 so black is um, uh, creating uh, the action on the queen side because he's stronger there right king d2 a5 and um Look at this, king f6. You see, in every endgame, we really need a king. So king is now coming to the queen side, and it's going to support uh, the, the pawns. Bishop f3, king e7. Pay attention how black plays on, on the dark colors. h4, h6, and king d8, right? Look at the black king that has a great future here. And pay attention to the white king that cannot get into the game. Actually, it has to stay on d3 to protect the pawn on e4. So big difference between those two kings. So we, we now have the black king that is going to become much better than a white king. Plus, we have a knight that is stronger than a bishop. a4. And now important move, pawn takes, right? You don't want to push the pawn here because then it's going to be difficult to break through. But here, black has a pass pawn. And, and of course, we know from previous lessons that the pass pawns are always important in every end game. King b6 and black uh, centralizing his, his, his king here, right? He plays now king c5. And uh, he's okay to give the pawn on a5, right? But for that pawn, he is going to create uh, the action here. You see, with the knight c4, now he's going to start jumping with this knight. Pay attention how knight is, is, is really strong here. Now, knight is attacking the bishop plus the pawn. And uh, knight f1. Now, knight is attacking uh, the pawn here. You can, there's nothing to do, even if you push the pawn, then uh, 93 would happen. So, uh, pawn takes, knight takes g3. Okay, so so now this pawn on d5, that is very important, right? The protected pass pawn, it is controlled by the king. King a4. And um, now an important move, king d4. Right, because he doesn't want to allow king c3 because knight again is coming back to to stop the pawn right and from here um, black play g5 push the pawn forward <laughs> if two of course black calculated everything g2 and uh, Black is winning here because black is going to capture the pawn and uh, get the queen. Let's see what are the most important moves. So I would say this move f5, really important, right? because you're attacking. Even if white takes on f5, you would take and one the king again can come to f6. Perhaps you here you can play um, e4 and king can go into e5. Then uh, so we have, I think this is important, bringing the king to the queen side of this idea. And of course here, you think that's important because you want to have a pass pawn, right? Pass pawn, it's always important in the end game. Pay attention here. We have four pawns against four pawns, but, but black is clearly better 
because black is playing on the dark colors. The white bishop, yes, the diagonal is open, but there's nothing to do on the diagonal. And uh, king b6, and wonderful centralization of the king. Then I think uh, this idea of jumping with knight, you know, that's something that nine knights are really beautiful pieces. And, and then again, coming here and blocking. Uh, of course, this, this move needs to be calculated. King d4. If you are in those kind of positions, you know, you have to calculate very precisely every move, uh, right? You cannot just give it to the chance. Right, so it has to be done, you know, very, very uh, precisely. You have to to spend maybe a couple of minutes here to to find the king d4 move. And uh, and of course here, black black is winning, right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, I'll put uh, the link uh, under here and. Uh, Actually, let me delete all those moves, and uh, you can uh, you and I'll put it for a practice, right? Instead of normal analysis, we'll put it for a practice, and you can play this with uh, with a black side. Try it to see, you know, computer is going to play, of course, better, but uh, play a couple of times and see if you can win. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and uh, we'll see each other in the next one. Bye bye.